I thought I was just dumb. And you might think that you're just dumb too, but you're not. When I decided to make this video, I was very, very, very irritated. I had some chicken, so it gave me a chance to calm down, but I still wanna make this video. So is ADHD real? And how should Christians, like me and you, navigate having ADHD? So from a very young age, I was hyper. I was dancing on tables and, and, and tapping on the uh, desk with my pencil, and I was getting in trouble a lot. I mean, I was getting in trouble all the time. Growing up, I heard things like, why can't you just be still? Or if you can focus on your guitar for this long, you can surely focus on schoolwork. And that was really damaging. Not because I think my parents did a bad job and not because parents shouldn't discipline their children. It was just really hard because I didn't know why I was acting the way that I was acting. My dad would tell me things like, you need to just straighten up and fly right, <laughs> right? Which is true, but I don't think he understood ADHD. Now he might understand it a lot better. My dad is a godly man. I love him very much. But my mom got it. She at least understood. And she took me to counseling. And they determined that I had ADHD. And they put me on Adderall, Ritalin, different stuff like that. I think it improved my behavior as a kid, but not by much. And then eventually, for some reason, my mom stop making me take it. I think she thought that I had grown out of it, which is not necessarily something that always happens with ADHD. There can be adult ADHD. That little divide between how my parents were talking to me and approaching ADHD, I decided to go with my dad's point of view, which was that I was just misbehaving. And so from, I don't know, middle school up until early adulthood, I believed that ADHD wasn't a real thing and that I was just the problem. Because we believe in sin. I had so much confusion as to why I was not paying attention <laughs> in high school or as to why certain things were so easy for me to hyper-focus on, like playing music or even video games. But things like schoolwork were exceptionally hard for me. I thought I was just dumb. And you might think that you're just dumb too, but you're not. If you have ADHD, you are not dumb. God doesn't make dumb things. You have some different challenges in your life than other people, but we all have them. Now, I spent all this time thinking that ADHD didn't exist. And then now in the past like year or so, with the help of my wonderful wife, I've been able to think about myself a little bit differently. I'm just now coming to terms with, hey, maybe ADHD is real <laughs> and I'm not stupid. I'm not a failure. But then you get days like today. For me, my day, <laughs> my day was awful. And I'm sure you've had those kind of days too where you know that the Bible talks about sluggards. It talks about lazy people in such a negative way. If you look in Proverbs, it talks about uh, the sluggard who buries his hand in the dish, like a food dish, and he barely has the strength. He doesn't even bring it up to his mouth because he's lazy. And I don't know about you, but Dealing with ADHD all my life, I've just felt lazy. I've felt like the problem isn't some kind of neurological disorder or deficiency. It's laziness because, again, sin is a real thing. Laziness, sloth, all those things are real. Uh, we believe the Bible to be true, so we know that laziness and uh, stealing and lying, and those are all real sins <laughs> that we're guilty of. So days like today happen and then I think maybe I don't have ADHD maybe I'm just that bad now that's not to say that ADHD isn't real that's not to say that ADHD is real because I'm honestly not sure but it could be a mixture of both honestly maybe since we are prone to wander from our God and we're, we're prone to do sinful things, that there's a war going on between the flesh and the spirit. They're warring against one another so that we can't do the things that we want to do. So we already have that opposition, that the flesh is opposing the spirit and causing us to be distracted from our mission in life, which is to tell the gospel and to follow Christ wherever he goes. I want to end on a good note. 
I just want you to know, Christian person with ADHD, that it's okay to feel frustrated. It's okay to feel angry. And you're not alone in the way that you feel. You're not. However, and I have to tell myself this right now, God is in control of your ADHD. If there are things that you're doing that are sinful, then yes, you need to repent. And so do I. I need to search my heart. I need to, I need to pray and have God show me the things in my life that are sinful so that he can remove them, so that I can repent from them and turn to him again for forgiveness. But whether ADHD is real or not, God is using you. He is sanctifying you. He is not done with you. And maybe you always have these symptoms. Either way, God is sovereign. He is in control. He is sanctifying you and me and all of his children to be more and more like Christ until the day of his appearing. And we will be like Christ. We won't struggle with ADHD or sin or strife or pain anymore. We'll be with him. We'll be in heaven. If you're watching this and you're not a Christian, if you're not saved, then please get saved. Us Christians have an eternal hope, a hope in Christ, something that you currently do not have, but you can have it. It's as simple as recognizing your own sin and seeing sin the way that God sees it, that lying is sinful, that lust is considered adultery. That's what Jesus said. He said that if you look upon a woman to lust after her, You've committed adultery with her already in your heart. So if you ever lied, if you've ever stolen, if you ever hated somebody, you deserve hell. I deserve hell, and the person down the street deserves hell. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Jesus Christ, who is God in the flesh, died on the cross to pay for your sins and for mine. And he took on the wrath of God so that we could be forgiven. He rose again, defeating death three days later. If we would just repent, which means to turn the other way, repent from sin and and, and turn to Christ. Confess our sins to him. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And we can be saved by the blood of Christ only. He says that he's the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. So put your trust in him and you will be saved. If you have ADHD or not, he will sanctify you. He will make you more like him. And then you'll have that hope that I was just talking about earlier, that hope in Christ that one day, you're going to be with him and you're not going to have any imperfections. You're not going to have any sin. And the most important thing you can do right now is put your trust in Christ. My name is Mason. Have a blessed day.